Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Nico Price versus Themba Garimbo. Nico Price, 16 and 7. He's 2 and 3 in his last five fights. And his last two losses were by Vicious KO. Plus 225 for Nico Price. Not surprising. 35 years old, 6 foot tall, with a 76 inch reach. First, Themba Garimbo. We all know the story about him. We, we know he's 13 and 4. He's 4 and 1. And his last loss was against AJ Fletcher in the UFC. Cut. His time's up. Again, he's four and one in his last five fights, three and zero oh in his last three, and uh, they haven't been crazy impressive wins. Like not great quality guys is what I really what I mean. Like Sato, he beat by decision. Hurt him a few times if I'm correct. Uh, uh, destroyed Pete Rodriguez. Never should have been in. I believe he took it in on short notice. You're gonna beat uh, Ramiz Bra Brahima. Uh, and that was four months ago. I really thought Ramiz was going to give Thembo some hard time because of his pressure and his, his uh, good wrestling, and he just didn't do that. So minus 280 favorite at 33 years old, 6'1 with a 77-inch reach, 1 inch in height and in reach. Or, er, yeah, 1 inch in height and in reach, yeah. Um, and, you know, with Themba, you know, 13-4, he's 33 years old. He kind of needs to get going a little quicker, to be honest. His eight finishes out of his 13 wins. He's been finished three out of his four losses. He's 3-1 and one in the UFC. Like I said, he was submitted by A.J. Fletcher. And again, Takashi Sato, not the same guy that he used to be when he like debuted in the UFC his first couple fights. Um, A.J. Fletcher kind of beat him up in that one. I believe it was a short notice fight as well, but you know, still did very, very well, did A.J. Fletcher. Um... You know, in fighting Nico Price, the problem I have with this matchup generally is like 16 and 7, like I said, for Nico. He has 13 finishes, but he's been finished 6 out of 7 times in his career. Technically, he has 2 no contests. That's technically, I guess, 2 wins he should have. A KO win over Alex Morono and a split decision, I believe, a split decision over Cowboy. It might have been a draw with Cowboy, so I guess he'd be 17, 7, and 1. But he tested positive both times for marijuana, which who cares? Um, like I said, he's been finished five times uh, by TKO or KO. Two of those in the first round, one in the second, and two in the third. He's 8, 7, 0, oh, and 2 in the UFC. Like I said, he should be 9, 7, and 1. He's been finished six times in the UFC, and it all started because of Abdul Rizek Al Hassan. Obviously, Luke Abe was the first one to beat him, but the first one to knock him out cold was Abdul Rizek Al Hassan. Did come right back after that and, and knock out Tim Means, which at that time was was not something that had been done before. And then I uh, got destroyed by Jeff Neal. Was a crazy fight. Uh, up kicked James Vick, which was wild. And um, got destroyed by Vicente, Vicente Luque. No contest with Cowboy. Went won the third round with Michelle Pereira, which was kind of nuts. Beat Alex Oliveira. Got kind of beat up quite a bit by Philip Rowe or Phil Rowe. Um, it, Robbie Lawler beat him up. Pat Sabatini beat him in grappling. And then he came back and he beat Alex Morono, which was just weird. Morono seems to be faster. Oh, just a very, very bad fight. The, again, the issue I have with this fight overall is I don't know how Nico wins this unless he becomes like the most durable fighter because he's going to get hurt. I, I understand his pressure is pretty good. But Themba is very, very good at striking and then closing the distance immediately. And I just don't know how Nico wins unless it's like a shocking, you know, Randy Brown hammer fist um, from the guard. If it's an up kick like to James Vick. Those surprise knockouts to me is the only way that Nico Price can win this. Now, technically, I would say, is he 2-1 to one better than Nico Price? The I'd say Themba is 2-1 to one you know, favorite. Should he be? Yes, I think so. Again, experience-wise, would maybe say no, but when you look and see he's been finished six times, and like Phil Rowe is not a big knockout guy. I I don't care what his record says. He doesn't have great KO power. I, who is he KO'd besides Nico Price? All right. Yeah, so, and he almost got finished by Nico Price. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I like Demba Garimbo in this matchup. I would say finish, but Nico can be very weird sometimes. Um, but Themba wins probably TKO, KO, or decision. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.